Okay, Pastor Tom here with Alex. It's Natasha? Natalie. Natalie. Natalie and Angela. Angela, yes. <laughs> and they all came out today because they want to get trained. And so uh, we just checked Alex's legs. And yes, indeed, you guessed it, he's got a short leg. So I'm going to have Angela film this while we grow his leg out. Now, I want you, Natalie, uh, to position yourself in such a way that you can see, not like over somebody's shoulder, you can see, and you will be able to see because you have the camera, what's going on. So take the camera, and it doesn't have a viewfinder, so you just have to point it where the action is. Now, we'll change that in a minute. Um, Alec? I'm pushing in, am I not, Alan? Yeah, I'm Those heels are, the inside of the shoe is touching your heel. Right. You guys see this? Now, Angela, you got really close, down, really close. Whoa, like... Really close. <laughs> Come on, Natalie. No, I can see perfectly. Did you see that? Alex, you ready? Relax. <laughs> Watch this. Oh my god. Alex, are you feeling anything? Because <laughs> it's all even now. Oh. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you remember that question I asked you earlier? Yeah. Have you ever seen a miracle in front of your eyes? Yeah, now, now I did. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so what did you feel? I felt like, I don't know if I hear something on it, on my knee. Like, you should I check mine. We will. We'll check yours. What did you see? What did you see? Was it real? Was it real? Was it real? Of course. Yeah, it was like really real. Have you ever seen a miracle? Not like that. You seen that one? Was it real? It was real. Yeah. Was I pulling your shoe off? No. A lot of people think we're pulling the shoe off. No. Wasn't pulling the shoe off. In fact, in fact, actually, I was pushing both shoes in so they contact your heel. Correct? My shoe was touching my heel. I didn't hire you. I've never met no, you. No, first time. You guys got faith now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. Okay. You like that? <laughs> so, Pastor Tom here. There's Natalie, Angela, <laughs> Alec. This is the very first person that we've approached to pray for. And this is Ray. I'm Ray. Ray. Hi. We saw Ray have two walking sticks. And Ray is in some pain because Rain just had lumbar surgery. And they took... A, a vertebrae out or what they take out? A disc? They remove the fifth lumbar. They remove, that's a vertebrae. They, they, they have to remove that because of uh, that's... Because uh, of what? Cancer buildup in the lumbar. Oh, okay. So Ray, uh, here's a question. If you kind of test yourself out, we want to take a before and after test. You test yourself out, what is your pain level? One through ten. Ten's really bad, one's not so bad. What do you feel in your back there? Twenty. It's really bad, huh? No, is it really bad? So, no. What is it right maybe now? Ten. That's a lot. Is your part in this is just to relax, Ray? Okay. Okay. You just relax, and Alex is going to pray for you. Okay. All right. All right, Alex. I'm going to lead you through this a little bit. Put your hand on Ray's lower back. That's the lumbar. All right. And say this. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I thank you for Ray. I thank you for Ray. And I know that you love Ray. And I know that you love Ray. And you don't want him in pain. And you don't want him in pain. So right now I speak to this back. So right now I speak to his back. Muscles, tendons. Muscle, tendons. Ligaments and nerves. Ligaments and nerves. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Uh, the incision done by the surgery, be healed right now. The incision that's done by the surgery, be healed right now. I command new discs. I command new discs. I command all the vertebrae to line up right now. I command all the vertebrae to be lined up right now. And I speak to the pain. And I speak to the pain. All pain. All pain. Leave now. Leave now. Now just rest for a minute. Just rest for a minute, Ray. Amen. Just rest for a second. Ray, while you're while he's got his hand on your back right there. Ray, what are you feeling right now? Relax. Relax, yeah. Alright, Ray, now. Go ahead, Alec, take your hand away. Ray, these are nice people, but I don't want you to be nice, I want you to be honest. Mm -hmm. I want you to move around, check your back out, and tell me what look for the pain. Tell me what the level is right now. Move around. Yeah. 
What number would you put on it now? Realistically. Let me see if I can vouch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do the Watusi Ray. <laughs> I think I can What do you say the number is now? What do you think it is now? Really honest. Hard to say, but I can move better. What do you think the pain level is? Hold it. Yeah, there you go. Hold that. Yeah, it's okay. He's feeling better. Go ahead. He'll be all right. He'll be fine. Now, Alex is behind you, so you won't fall. So go ahead, try it out, Ray. He's strong enough. He's a big, strong kid. You do your thing, Ray. Test it out. Okay. I think move around better. This is probably five. Five. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. If it goes from a ten to a five, it'll go from a five to a zero. Okay. So we're gonna pray again. Um, Alan, one more time. Have time. One more. I'll see you, Dad. Okay. It's worth it, Dad. Think how long you'd wait in a doctor's okay, office so for this. All right. Mama. All right. So we'll do one more time, okay? Okay. All right. Ready, Alec? Mama's Say, waiting. Here we go. And you just know that pain has to go. Okay, go ahead, Alex. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I thank you for taking Ray's pain down from a 10 to a 5. I thank you for taking his pain down from a 10 to a 5. But we demand 100%. But we demand 100%. Pain? Pain. I bind you right now. I bind you right now. And I command you to get out and now. I command you to get out now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Okay, Ray, give it the test. Okay. Okay, Ray. All right, Ray. So my experience is once pain starts to drop, it will go all the way. Unfortunately, Ray said he had to run because his family was standing behind him waiting for him to go. So you do what you can do in the time that you're given and you pray as long as the person will allow you to pray for them. So uh, go out there and do likewise in Jesus name.